commando units carried out the raid. Well, with me to get more on all of this is Mohammed Taha from BBC Arabic. Hi, Mohammed. Good to see you. Let's start Hi, with Samantha. events in Gaza. Tell us what more we know about this strike on a polio vaccination centre. Indeed, this is a very unfortunate uh, incident. This is not the first time that Israel forces, whether uh, by mistake or intentionally, uh, targeting uh, UN officials or aid workers. This happened a few times before. But in general, giving the children the vaccination in the city of Gaza is something uh, giving the people hope because there are 100,000 people and families are living in the city of Gaza and they are, they are in a dire situation, no food, no water, no security, no properly working hospitals and giving the children the vaccination is giving them the hope for the future because for this uh, vaccination to happen, there should be like unofficial pose of fighting between Hamas and Israel to make sure that this, uh, the, this vaccination campaign would uh, happen. This is the final uh, final stage of this vaccination and apparently uh, th that uh, that attack or uh, uh, or you know uh, the, the incident that happened in the vaccination center is affected by what is happening a few kilometers away from the city of Gaza which is one of the biggest fighting in this war in the city of Jabalia there is massive fighting there there are 100,000 people also in Jabalia in a very worse situation than the city of Gaza, these people will not get any vaccination or, or the children will not get any vaccination because the UN cannot work there. There are many casualties in the, in the Palestinian side and there are casualties also from the Israeli side, side from the heavy fighting uh, in Jabalia. So the situation in the uh, north of, of Gaza, the scene is very mixed between the hope of the vaccination and the despair of the war in Jabalia. I wish to say that Israel denies being behind this strike on this polio vaccination centre. What about events in Lebanon and this kidnapping that's being reported of a Hezbollah commando by Israeli forces? This is a very, a very interesting incident because there are boots on the ground, the Israeli uh, soldiers in the ground in southern Lebanon, where there is a ground operation uh, carried out by Israeli forces in southern Lebanon for a few weeks. It's the first time that there will be the, there are. Uh, boots or Israeli soldiers would be go to northern Lebanon to to uh, to uh, execute this operation. Israel saying that this is a commander of Hezbollah. The people in the area and the neighbors they are saying he is a civilian. He is uh, he is a captain of of um, a civilian ship uh, ship in northern uh, Lebanon and he has no connection with Hezbollah. But it's very interesting to see that the Israeli forces were keen to have this person to, uh, to have them back to Israel to, to carry out investigations with them. We saw that Israel carried out many assassinations against, against uh, Hezbollah leaders or killing against Hezbollah leaders. Uh, on the top of them is Hassan Nasrallah, the head of the, uh, the, the group. But uh, why Israel wanted really Ahmad Amhas to Brought, to be brought back to Israel and to carry out investigations with him. I think uh, we will hear uh, very soon from the Israeli forces about that. Okay, Mohammed, thank you. Thank you.